Warrior is a very interesting tank in Endwalker. When it comes to its damage output, it's definitely been lacking. However, it makes up for it with its simple rotation and god tier mitigation and recovery. So how has this played out over Savage, this expansion? Let's find out the state of Warrior. You, uh, you see what I did there? Huh? Like the last few state of videos, I'll be using FF logs. I'll spare you the rant as to why it's imperfect. Check out my State of the Paladin video for that. But basically, we're only looking at rating data anyways. This is the best way to do it as far as I know. Okay, so starting with 6.0 and point 0.1, as Fidelos, Warrior starting off strong with the most amount of parses being the most log and presumably most played tank for 6.0 Savage. Also, notice the little damage. It's pretty far behind both Gunbreaker and Dark Knight. Despite that, it's still the most popular tank in Savage for 6.0. And like always, we can only infer as to why this is, and I truly think that it's Warrior's playstyle that just appeals to a larger chunk of players. So when balance is not a factor, which most of the time it isn't, Warrior numbers should theoretically be higher. Now, 6.1 Warrior does drop to second place behind Dark Knight. This one's actually pretty straightforward to explain. Dark Knight got a pretty positive update in 6.1, meaning more raiders were willing to play it. The next piece of rating content is actually DSR, also releasing in 6.1, and Warriors back at third place. Magic damage is a pretty big deal, and DPS checks and ultimates do tend to be a bit tighter, so this makes sense. And this trend largely continues until 6.3 to 6.4, which we'll get into a bit later. Alright, 6.2 Abyssos, a very controversial tier for those first few weeks. Like I've said before, this is the only tier where I can say for almost a fact that balancing played a role in usage. And you can see reflected here, the top two tanks are the two with the highest damage output, Dark Knight and Gunbreaker. For those first few weeks without gear, you'd have a pretty tough time meeting the DPS check on the wall boss and P8S. Ultimately, the fights were just easier with Dark Knight and Gunbreaker, leading to Warrior getting stuck in third place, a trend that would continue into 6.3. Okay, so I know I looked at Criterion Dungeons for both State of Dark Knight and Paladin, but at this point, the joke is played. It's not important to the video. However, there is something else that is important to the video, and that is uh, hitting the like button. I put a lot of work into this channel, and liking the video does help me out a lot. Also, we are so goddamn close to 600 subscribers. Help a brother out. We're shooting for 1k by the end of the year. I think it's doable. Thank you so much. Now let's get topped. That's not what that says. Let's look at top. For 6.3, Warrior is third for usage. Again, we can infer that it's due to a tired DPS check and general difficulty in ultimates. I'm not even going to pretend to understand T.O.P. Someone, please explain it to me in the comments if there's another reason they think Warrior is lower. But in 6.4, Warrior has seen a lot more usage, putting it in second place for T.O.P. And in fact, 6.4 is where things get really interesting. You see, Warrior got some uh, pretty beefy buffs. Its damage output was pretty juiced up after that. So that could definitely explain its uptick in T.O.P. But what about Anibisos? Well, don't call it a comeback. Warrior has a commanding lead on the number of parses, bringing things full circle. With pretty good balancing this tier and some very nice buffs, Warrior is number one for usage. Despite not being the best for damage output, once again proving that when balance is not a factor, Warrior is just more popular, presumably due to its playstyle. This is a trend for DSR as well, and 6.3 and 0.4, it has higher usage. So, that's Warrior, one of my favorite tanks to play for sure. It's just so easy to use. It's very satisfying as well. I love the over-the-top animations, and having a third gap closer is very fun for me, even if it doesn't make a big difference in most scenarios. But what do you think of Warrior in Endwalk? Let me know in the comments below. Remember, subscribe.